Greetings from planet Earth, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. Last time, well, we did more cleanup. Uh, we got the Pegasus boots, so now we can dash through the treacherous swamp in the Caster Wilds. And again, like I said, this is a very, very, ha, huh, maze-like location. I've... I may do better because I have more of a fresh playthrough under my belt, but uh, you never know. I'm always thinking that I'm going to get lost in this area again and again and again, and I almost always do. But if I'm not mistaken, the next area that I want to be is... I think we're about to get one of the iconic weapons in the Zelda series. Oh boy, we have... Ha 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 ha. These guys uh, ring any bells to you? Whatever. What do you got for me, dude? What do you got for me? Arrows, but I don't have a bow. Hey, we're about to get a bow. Isn't that awesome? Let's uh, kinstone fuse with this business scrub since I have no reason to believe that I'm going to be back here anytime soon. <laughs> All right. So, we have reason to believe that we're about to get the bow. Uh, spoilers, we're about to get the bow. Isn't this awesome? But if we're gonna get the bow during, like, before the dungeon, like, what does that... This is what I really like about this game. All of the established stuff in the Zelda history, um, is kind of regulated to getting it before, uh, the actual dungeon. And most of the items that you get in this game are very, very new. I love this! The dungeon items have such... Like the Cane of Packy. I know we had the Cane of Samaria. And the Cane of... Byrna or... Brina or By... Wow, the fuck that cane was pronounced. I don't remember. But... Damn it. There we go. This is a completely different type of cane. It flips things! Holy shit. We got a Moldozer Horde over here. Blue Moldozers. Come on. Work with me, game. Okay, this is not too hard. A big chest outside of a dungeon can only mean... I got the bow! Yes! Let the fun begin, everybody. Unfortunately, if I'm not mistaken, coming back across this is nowhere near as easy as it was getting across the first time because... Well, maybe I was wrong. I thought there was going to be, like, bugs and... Ah, oh, I remember. It's a different area. It's a different area. That's fine. So now that we have the bow... Oh, get the Pegasus boots on. Now that we have the bow, the Igors are actually possible. We, of course, remember the Igors from A Link to the Past. This time, they're a little... I I'm sorry, nothing will be able to trump the Igor from Majora's Mask. That thing was awesome. So three arrows to the eye, and five arrows. Of course, you store arrows in your quiver, go figure. that Picolite. I'm, should I use it? Should I save it for an area in the dungeon? That's a problem that I have. Like, I'm not really certain where a good place to grind, I guess, would be the term that I want to use, but I'm not certain. And that's a problem. But it's a problem no longer, because I have the bow, and... This is a very, very mysterious... Hey, Kenstone Piece! Nice. A very mysterious little area. What can it mean? Push it. Another piece of heart! And... Another sword technique. Yes! 
Swiftblade the first, Spirit of the Swordsman! I'm, wait, not ready. All seven Tiger Scrolls? What the fuck? Well, uh, in case you need to see how many Tiger Scrolls you have, there's the, and in case you ever need to review, you can always view your Tiger Scrolls. That's something I'm gonna have to remember for quite some time to come. Don't shoot the arrow. Do not waste an arrow. Damn it! Fuck you! Alright. So let's push this. Start getting this area. Oh no, I'm gonna get lost. Start getting this area all situated, because this is where I was before. By pushing boulders into areas. Okay. Now, logic would dictate... Oh, we have another one of these. Yes! Another stone marker. Logic would dictate that I have to get past this Igor. And I'm gonna need three of those golden kinstone pieces. Bye bye Igor! Luckily, they give you quite a few arrows, so even if you fuck up, you are golden. So, now let's move across to an area we could not get to before. Open the way. Eventually, this, this swamp becomes so interconnected that you don't have to do all these twists and turns, but the matter is getting there first. And this, another golden kinstone piece, so I require one more, and then I can open the way to the next area. I haven't actually seen where I need to place them yet, but I know where I need to place them. So... I think there's one more Igor statue that I want to take care of. Huh, this area right here. Aha! Igor! I think I'm on the right track. Fuck you, Igor! Damn it, hit it in the eye. There we go. Boom! And Pegasus? You too. Uh, I'm sorry, wrong, wrong Pegasus. Too much Yu Gi Oh! So push this, and that should be the last boulder, if not, it's the second to last, but yeah, this is, this is it. So in here is the final golden kinstone piece. I get, Caster Wilds, that wasn't that bad, actually. Huh. You know what, I'll take it. May not be perfect, but I will take it nonetheless. So, let's make our way back over here. Not sink. Wrong way. Don't get lost, Landon. You're so close to finishing up. Don't get lost. Um. This way. And that way. There we go. Now I remember where I'm at. Cool beans! I went in a gigantic fucking circle. Let's stay on the platform. God, the caster wilds. And I'm sorry, the music is very men but menacing, but I get more of an Egyptian vibe out of this song than I do a, uh, a swamp. Just my opinion. I could be wrong. Ba-boom! And that should be the last Igor. Hey, chest! It's a good thing I went this way. Kinstone Pete. Hey, no, 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 no. I know better. Why in the blue fuck would two red rupees just show up out of the blue like that? Okay. Rupee like. Okay, game. You're a douchebag. You're probably also. Yep, another rupee like. Do not get caught, and you make yourself a good 40 rupees. Okay. Now that was obvious, but always stay on your toes because this area ahead is going to have quite a few 
I don't know if it's gonna have any like likes, but it will have rupee likes. So, Kinstone Fuse with these mysterious statues. Why can you fuse with a statue? And the statue jumps. They start off looking all grumpy. But then when you fuse with them, they become all smiley. Oh, let the statue smile. A smile is all that it takes. And the third. Wouldn't it suck if this did not destroy that boulder? But it does, of course. So we're done with the Caster Wilds, and it's on to the Wind Ruins. <laughs> I, I like so many of the new tracks in this game, and I've said that a lot, but it, it, it can't be said enough. So the Wind Ruins feature Armus Knights, and unlike most Armus Knights where, you know, you put a bomb in front of them and it's all about uh, moving them to a certain location or anything like that, Armus Knights in this game are very easy. You just make sure that they're active, and how do you activate them? Well, I'm so glad that you asked. If the eye is not lit, what you do... If you need a clue, you can actually go down here, but... Hey, and I get a treasure chest out of it. Soldier statues! They're, oh, they're Armist Knights, but... There's a switch inside that turns them on or off. And a red kinstone piece! Yes! I'm getting a lot of those! Like I said, after the third dungeon is where you really start getting into kinstone fusions. You do some here or there if you have the piece, but... It's only after the third dungeon where you really have enough to start playing with the game. So. Activate the Armist Knight, go through, push the boulder so the next time I go through I don't have to deal with it again. Hmm. This is an interesting little area. Aha, my instincts have served me well. I may not have wanted to go this way, actually. Because I think this is the actual way... No, let's check the map real quick. Yeah, this is the way I wanted to go. Is there... Because I saw two exits. At least I think I did, unless I'm going crazy. No, I'm going crazy! Great! Ah... Uh, <laughs> going crazy. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be okay. I hope. Um, this is... I know for sure that this is a beanstalk. You kinstone fuse, and this planted bean will grow into something quite great. Um... <sighs> kinstone piece, that's nice. This Armus Knight is inactive, so what I want to do is try and avoid the ropes. I don't think you can aggro them when you're small, but they will still hit you and hurt you if you run into them. So activate the Armist Knight. That was a clutch roll. I almost got eaten alive by the snake. And I'm surprised. Commonly when you shrink, any grass that you've cut kind of resets itself. It's so you can't cheese certain areas um, that you would normally have to backtrack once you have a certain item to or path open to progress. I guess since this area doesn't require that, cutting the grass stays when you go into a small length form. But it's not always like, holy shit! Back to back kinstone pieces! You'd think I had the Picolite active already! Nice! Alrighty. Get out of my way, you stupid tech type. Give me some arrows. Give me some arrows. Ah, I already remember this area. So. These armor snipes are pain in the ass. Ah. 
Aha! I remember you. This is the Armist Knight that wants to screw with you. So before I continue on and get those chests even, I want to turn this Armist Knight off. Because if you don't, it will get in your way and it will not get the fuck out of your way. So turn it off. Go back here. And let's see what we've got. 50 more rupees! Come on, 150 more bucks! DVD player! Okay. Channeling my inner coach McGurk. Anybody else remember home movies as fondly as I do? I haven't seen that show in forever. Now this would actually be an area where people like I've gotta to learn to recognize these areas before I'm halfway done just mowing the lawn and See, this is why having the Rock Breaker is so great. Because those enemies, you would normally have to lift the shell up or, or get out in the gust jar. Now you can just blow the rock open and reveal, reveal those enemies and boom. So this is it. This is the Fortress of Winds, our third dungeon in the game. And let's see, let me check on time. Uh, it's 16 minutes. I'll get a little bit of a start on the dungeon. Before I... Oh, we'll see. Okay, um... I hate having four entrances. I really hate having four entrances. Um... Let's try the innermost right. These things always kind of unnerve me because I remember you remember that um, the ice palace in A Link to the Past, where you would actually have to grab the tongues of these things if they had tongues. Uh, whatever. We got our first dungeon with Stolfus Knights and a bubble. Well, not technically a bubble, but a spark. Do not hit the spark. Spark comes. Get a chest with a kidstone piece. Another very predictable Stolfus Knight. I guess not a knight, just a Stolfus. And this. Open this up. Nice. Got a great choo choo. Uh, leave your landmine somewhere else. We've got mold arms about, and we have a chest behind some dirt. This is where the dirt walls that we've seen for so long will come into play. Oh boy, I'm being chased. Alright. Now we really have a problem. Because we have... Oh, we have haunted statues. We have Armist Knight. It's in our way. Not in our way anymore, but I just want to get it out of the way. Alright, um, so let us get the process of splitting myself in two open. It's a good thing that those aren't actual pressure switches, like you have to keep two targets on them. So let's become mini. And I just realized... I cannot believe that it took me this long to figure it out, but Minish has the word mini in it. How did I never catch that? Ugh, oh, I really must be a dumbass. Alright, so... Get you out of my way here. A another Kinstone piece! I'm surprised, and we lost a key. Oh, no, 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 please tell me the Kinstone piece is still there. Please tell me it's still there. Okay, it is. Of course something fell down. We saw two different, well, three areas that it fell through. Oh. All right. So I guess just fall down. I should have shrunk first, but that's fine. 
I have a key, which will be useful, but I do want to shrink. Because shrinking will allow me to drop down that minish hole, or drop down the hole, minish size. Uh, that's unfortunate, but is what it is. So, transform. I think I've decided that I'm just gonna get dungeons done in one play session then split them so that they're not too horrendously long. A piece of heart! Yes! My instincts have served me well. How many do I have? One more, and I'm almost positive that this dungeon has one more of those. Dungeons have a habit of, like, filling out your heart uh, meter twice, or, or giving you a new heart container twice. Um, no, actually. No, that's not the way I want to go. Let's actually see. Let us see if I can push any of these blocks. I know I can. I have to be able to. It's just a matter of where you push it from. Blocks are always touchy like that. Damn it! Don't you dare... There we go. Alright! Um... There seems to be a large rupee back there. I want it. I really want it. Um... Uh, is it this one? No, I don't think it's this one. believe it's this one because yeah you have the two areas on the left and right of the center area that's the main area and then you you get two keys to sort of make your way through this I do remember and as usual we're going to have a nice little bow and arrow to the eye puzzle I used to be an adventurer like you then I took an arrow to the eye ow holy fuck that hurt 